There are two other areas that are involved in ADHD. It's the frontal parietal network is the other one. This is part of the alerting network. So when we're alert, the default mode network has to be shut down or silenced. And this, the frontal parietal network does that, right? So this connectivity in individuals with ADHD is weaker. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The second aspect is there is a phenotype, there is a distinct subtype, I should say, of ADHD that involves the cerebellar pathways. And here, this particular subtype usually tends to have issues with timing. And it's interesting because cerebellum, we know we have the pass pointing test. That, that pass pointing test is very much about timing and it's very much about prediction as to where you go. And that is exactly the abnormality that you find in this particular cerebellar aspect.